This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Well, let's get right into this uh, this deal with, with John Calipari as the next uh, Razorback head coach. Do we have any sense of, of when to expect an announcement or when there may be a presser or, or anything that you might have heard? I think, well, he has to talk to his team first, and I'm, the word is he's doing that like maybe now or in an hour or whatever. That's supposed to be soon. That has to happen first. And then they would make the announcement once he tells you. You know, that's just common courtesy. You tell your players first. And then they'll announce it, and then he will come in here. And probably, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, but I guess it could be later today, but probably tomorrow. What are um, – go ahead, yeah, Matt. What, what we were – Phil and I were talking earlier. What are expectations? I mean, is it – you got to hang a banner, right? The Final Four, uh, national championship, being relevant again. Uh, you don't handcuff Coach Calipari and, and not give him – give them the keys or give them the resources. I mean, you're going to, we're going to be comparable in NIL. I mean, we're expecting a final four, right? Well, the whole deal was, and I knew of Johnny Tyson's close personal relationship with Calipari. It was no secret. Every time they came in here, you'd always see Tyson with him. They'd go out to Herman's. There's a video of them out at Herman's when everybody's calling the hogs and Calipari's sitting there. But he had always spoke, spoken very highly of Arkansas, had made comments that the Arkansas job was one of the best jobs in the country. And so when all this came up, I thought, well, maybe that's a possibility, but you don't hear anything, and it was all about Beard for a while, and I thought, well, maybe Cal's just not interested. And But I, I did keep be, being told when all these people were freaking out because of all these names that were being mentioned that nobody wanted, I was told, hey, you know, your check knows what he's doing. You guys just need to be a little bit patient. And then yesterday morning, I started hearing some Calipari Perry talk. And so I started trying to check it out. And I think what you'll find is there was a bunch of people in the media that knew that it was probably going to happen, but they were all spooked because of the whole Chris Beard thing. And they didn't want to end up jumping the gun and looking dumb. And uh, Wes Moore called me, and he told me, he said, I think I'm going to go with it. And I said, well, this is why everybody's waiting. And he said, yeah, I know. He said, you could get be wrong about somebody like Chris Beard. You can't be wrong about Calipari. If you tell people he's coming, he better come or you're going to be ruined. I said, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I said, you know, things can fall through. I remember the time that Orville wrote that Ken Hatfield was going to be fired. And he got it from Frank. What better source is it than Frank? But what he didn't know was that when Frank went over to get permission to fire him, he was told no. And Frank didn't usually get told no. So you could things can always fall through. And so Wes said, well, I got to decide. And what he did, which I think is brilliant, he ended up issuing, putting out a a, a statement or whatever saying, he's going to be the next head coach unless there's some last-minute complications, which he kind of covered his base on that. And once he did that, everybody else jumped in. It was like, whoa, we should have done this. So I give him a lot of credit. And it's uh, guys that, you know, there's a lot of talk that, well, he he was having all these problems at Kentucky. He'll have problems here. Look, when you're the head coach at Kentucky, it's like walking around in a lead suit every waking hour it's just there there's pressure on you all the time and when you take the floor as a as a kentucky wildcat player every team you play is going to give you their best shot that's just the way it is and i think he'll get a fresh start here he won't face some of the issues at least not initially that he that he did there the main thing is they've got a huge problem right now with putting a roster together next year and there is absolutely nobody that they could have hired that would be better equipped to solve that problem than John Calipari. Well, you got to do it through the portal, you would you would imagine, but then there's also, I think there's, what, five or six uh, freshmen or high school players that had signed to play for Cal at Kentucky, and that's the first place I think a lot of people are looking now is do, do some of these kids who had, who had not put a Kentucky uniform on yet follow Cal to Arkansas? 
And this is the same conversation as, are you signing to play for a program or are you signing to play for a coach? And I think in this day and age, especially with the idea that the NIL money that they're getting with Cal as the coach, I can't imagine that some of these kids aren't at least going to follow him to Fayetteville. Well, exactly. And, and one's already decommitted. Hasn't said where he's going, but he's decommitted. And he's their big seven foot one inch center. So that would be a good start. <laughs> it hasn't been confirmed that he's coming here, but a lot of people are speculating. And so, and there may be one or two of these guys here that hit the portal. If he looks and says, yeah, I take them back, they might come back. So we'll see. But, uh, I just, look, there have been so many Arkansas fans dislike the guy because of who he was. But if you were ever around him, he's a nice guy. Grant Hall told me a story about being off somewhere one day, and Calipari just ran into him. He said he just came up and started talking to him for about 20 minutes. He remembers who you are. He talks to you. He's friendly. Um and the fans are going to like this guy, but the media is going to like him too. His press conferences are, are, are fun to go to. You know, they're not, you don't sit there and try to pry information out of him or watch him pout when he doesn't win. You know, he, he steps up and handles it. Do the, do the expectations of, um, well, let me, let me ask this differently. The last five years, he's not been a good coach in March. And that's been in the SEC tournament, and that's been in the NCAA tournament. And the coach is what the record says. And the record right now says he was a great coach at UMass, at Memphis, and up until five years ago was a great coach at Kentucky. Now, I don't think you just forget how to coach the game. It's just the track record of what have you done for me lately is is something that's in the back of a lot of fans' mind, of a lot of hype the last few years at Kentucky and not enough wins in March. Absolutely. And it could happen here. But like I said, I think what you're going to see is a guy that was worn out by all that pressure. And I think you're going to see him with a, with new energy. I think he's going to lo- love it here. He's already said he likes it here. Uh, it's just going to be a different atmosphere. And again, when you hit that, where the, where the upsets happen are the, in the first and second round, when your players when you're when you're a two or a one or a two or a three seed, and you're going up against a thirteen or fourteen, fifteen seed, your players just naturally relax, and that's where the upsets happen. Uh, they're not going to react to Arkansas the same way they would play in Kentucky. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I think I, it's, I'm speculating. But I think he will he will revive himself here. Hey Mike, we we do have a basketball game tonight. Well, are you going to be watching this game? Who 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 is a, this a legacy game more? Uh, you know, Hurley having a chance to win back to back national championships since the first time since uh, Billy Donovan at Florida did it, and then Painter, uh, just kind of some of his failures they've had in the in the last uh, couple of years of the NCAA tournament, finally getting over the hump, making it to this championship game. Uh, who, who who are you watching? Are you going to be pulling for anybody? Not pulling, but I, I, I got to believe UConn will win. I mean, the, Alabama played maybe their best game of the year against those guys. I was amazed. They were they weren't just hitting threes. They were they were playing defense. They were going after every loose rebound. They loose balls getting batted around, and they were coming up with them. And they did all that, and still ended up losing by fourteen. That's how good those guys are. Their defense is elite. But they also shoot really well. Uh, they just they're they're kind of a complete basketball team. You know, you I've talked about how to get to where you to get to the championship game and win it all, you have to be multi dimensional. Well they are that and some. Women's game yesterday was really entertaining on it just you know, Caitlin Clark has this amazing first quarter and Carolina was able to at least Uh, diminish some of her impact afterwards and you just have to stand all right so we're talking about a guy john calipari who has built three programs into final four programs Uh, but it's kind of tough to stay at that level for a very long time and kentucky obviously has had a fall off Um, look at what dawn staley has done at south carolina you know i mean she's got to be on the short list of one of the greatest coaches of all time in that sport whether men or women 
You know, I mean, Gino's got more titles. Pat Summit's got more titles. But right now, she's got the beast, and she's one of the best. Yeah, if she keeps at it, she'll close in on that. She'll approach what they've done. And uh, it's tough. When, when you're when you're on a roll like they are, everybody gives you their best shot. And it's hard to, to stay at that level. I mean, Nolan, I'm getting ready to go out and talk to him again about this Calipari hire, but he told me the last time I was out there about a month ago, he said the thing that still haunts him is that second 95 Final Four when he lost in the championship game. He said, I just, I, I, I go to sleep and I think about it and I wake up and I think about it. It's, it's just so hard to repeat. And so, I, I don't know, when you keep, when you do what she's done and Pat Summit did it and, and you know, Gino did it. I mean, it's it's those that's elite to be able to do that. All right, last thing, and and then I uh, know you you got Nolan later today. He told me that you're uh, you're going to be talking with Nolan Richardson. Obviously, it's 30 years after the national championship, but there's a little bit more to talk to now. And I'm ju- I'm I'm really fascinated to hear his his opinions uh, on on John Calipari to Arkansas, and I know you must be too. Yes, absolutely. And, and another thing I'm going to ask him about is a conversation I had with somebody that has ties to college coaches and knows what they're thinking and saying. And I had this conversation with this person the other day, and I said, I don't understand why your check is having to go out and, and find all these people. They should be coming to him. Arkansas is a, a top five job, in my mm-hmm. opinion, even even after a bad year. And he said, oh, no, it's fallen off the the word among coaches now is it's a second tier job, and so I asked no one about that on the phone. He said, "Guy's nuts." He said, "It's a top five job." I ought to know. I had it. It's so that's one of the things I want to talk to him about. Is this this should not come as a surprise to me? Calipari shows that he knows what Arkansas is, and some of these other people didn't know. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.